unbeaten cigar mark My confession begins We play the game of stay away But it costs more than I can pay Without you I can't make my way I surrender I may seem proud, I may act gay, but that's a pole, I'm not that way, was deep down in my heart I say, I surrender deep, little mean things we were doing, they must have been Gee, that part of the game. Pipes. Lending a spice to the wooing Oh, but I don't care who's to blame When stars appear and shadows fall Why, then you'll hear my poor heart fall To you, my life, my love, my all Telephone! Telephone. Well, why don't you answer it? We play the game. I'll stay away. Star radio shot. If you got a good repairman there, you can send out on the job. All right. Send him down to Sid's pool room. Corner waterfront and second street right away. All right, it'll be right over. Well, who was it? Oh, somebody wanted the repairman. Tommy. I may seem proud. I may Tommy. Act gay. But that's a pole. Tommy. I'm not that way, yeah. for deep down in my heart I say, I surrender deep, little mean things we want to leave. Hey, what's the idea of oh, breaking into my... Oh, here's a repair my... job for you. Okay, I'll get into my working clothes. Go with your arm. In my new suit? Yeah, they're in a hurry. Okay. Listen, Apple. The wolf's at the door again. How's chances of getting five bucks on my salary till payday, huh? Nothing doing. Okay, if things get too tough, I'll eat the wolf. Hey, Tommy. Got a lot of work to do today, son. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, gee, look what I found. Ten dollars. Give it to me. Somebody must have left it there. Uh-uh, finders keepers. Yeah, and if they come back and claim it, I'll have to pay for it out of my salary. Give me that. Do I get my five? Oh, I suppose so. I owe you. Now, there's your five. Here's your ten. Why don't you look where you're going? I'm sorry. I beg your pardon. I didn't know you were going. <laughs> You the repairman, buddy? Yes, sir. Well, where are the guys that are looking for you? From the pool room? Nah, we just use the telephone. You got a key to this heck? Yeah, but I never lock uh, it. I had better. A lot of people around this neighborhood ain't on it. Yeah. You got your tools? Yeah, I got them right uh, here. Come on with us. Hey, I don't get you. You don't have to. Just do what you're told, see? Come on, good Hey, wait a minute. What's the idea? We got reasons for this, pal. Everything's going to be okay. Yeah, then why the rush at? And well, you'll find out. Step on it, Telephone Nick right away. Out of that car, dude. Well, how about it? All right, take it off now if you want to. Beginning to get the idea? Yeah. 
This is somebody's hideout, and you don't want me to know where it is. Oh, you're getting smart. Yeah. Yeah. Well, keep moving. Here it is. Something's busted. Fix it up, kid, and when you finish, let us know. Okay, yes, sir. And you better keep away from the roof. You might fall out. Come on. Sorry about the other night, but you know K.O. He hit you for I could say a word. It's getting so he goes wild if another man comes near me. I see. Well, I hope you get out of the hospital real soon. Say, you better hang up now. He'll be here any minute. Bye. Oh, oh lady, you're not alone. Who's in here? The radio man. But it's all right. I'm not looking. You can open your eyes. You're not getting any treat. What are you doing here? Trying to plug the fix. I, I mean, fix the plug. But I'll step out for a minute. Well, that's all right. I was just in there bathing my feet. Well, I guess everybody does it once in a while. Uh, I mean, they say there's nothing like it, they say. <laughs> this is the greatest joint for feet. Kale's bought it all the time. Kale? Kale McClure. The fighter? Does he live here? Yeah. Maybe I'd better come back, say, in a couple of weeks. Oh, no. Go on with your work. I, uh, I guess you don't recognize me, do you? I'm afraid not. Blonde baby face. I go around with Kale. Yeah, then I'd better wait outside until you're through in here. Don't go on through. I, I've been dying to talk to somebody. Maybe Kale wouldn't like it. I'll say he wouldn't. You know, once a fella just looked at me, and he smacked him so hard, the poor guy walked on his heels for a week. <laughs> <laughs> and he just looked at you? Yeah. <laughs> It just goes to show, you can't make a gent out of a pig's ear. Well, I'll see you later. What's your rush? Uh, I, I gotta go back to the shop. I, I forgot my, uh, uh, my pliers. Your pliers? Yeah. Well, there they are on the floor. all right, but, you know, a girl of my refinement don't mix with a bruiser. Uh, oh, I know, he doesn't understand you. Now, now, isn't that funny? You got the idea right away. Here. Oh, no thanks, I never touch the hard stuff. It's all right, we drink it by the barrel. Oh. oh, he's coming. Don't let those in the hall. Well, I'm a stranger here. 
Do you mind if I use your room for a minute? Oh. Oh. oh, boy. Hey, do you hear anything? Hear something? Why? Why, no, why? Believe it or not, these puppies is laughing right out loud. Ow. Oh, uh, oh, honey, uh, uh, come on in the other room. I, I want to sit on your lap and I want to tell you something. Hey, what's the matter with you? Sick? Well, why, no, darling. I, you I got bad to... news? Uh, no, but I, I just want... I never knew you to be so affectionate since I had me tonsils out. Ah, you get my goat. Why, if Keep I... Keep your mess down now. I'm ribbing you. <laughs> hey, babe, get me Harrison on a journal, will you? <laughs> Why not? I ain't breaking no laws calling up from the bedroom, am I? <coughs> Hello, Chino. Give me the sporting editor. I'm gonna tell this mug to to quote. Yeah, to quote me in my own words. Yeah. You're just thick enough to have every English professor in the country after you. Yeah, I'm just smart enough to take them on, too, if they can make 158 pounds ringside. And what do you think of that? Hello. Hello, Henderson. This is K.L. McClure. Yeah, I just called up to... 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 Confirm. To confirm that report that me and Nick Fatelli has, uh... has, uh... uh severed. Has severed our, uh... Connections. Connections, yeah. Yeah? Well, I don't care what he says. I don't fight for him no more, and you can put that in headlines. Is that so? Well, uh, let him try all the strong arm stuff he wants, see? That's just why I quit him. I'll show that guy Vitelli that... Hey, did you pour these? Yes. Just a minute you came in. Yeah? Yeah. Well, thanks. Here. Hey, uh, everything's all right, isn't it? Say, what's the matter with you? You're acting like a punch-drunk house detective. I've never seen you so nice. Hey, is your mother coming? No, she isn't. Now, will you drink up and get out of here? You're acting just like a dame that's got somebody hid under their bed. Well, uh, maybe you'd like to take a look. <laughs> I'm ribbing you. <laughs> Don't mind me. Hey, babe, how's the chance to get some lunch on this joint, huh? Why, why haven't you eaten? Well, you poor little thing, just imagine having eaten a thing all day with that terrible pizza coming off at your nice juicy steak. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm in the right house, ain't I? Now? Yes, come on, quick, he's gone. Quick! Come on, come on out. Come on out, come on. Come on out. Come on, come on out. Come on out, he's gone. Come on out, come on out. Come on. Come on out. Come on. Well, come on out. Come on out. Didn't you hear it tell you to come on? Doesn't he do the cutest trick? Yeah. Go on and fix up the lunch bag, will you? I'm starving. Yeah. Hiya, K.O. You got company. Yeah, so I see. Uninvited. 
So you thought you could hide out on me, huh? Well, what's on your mind, Nick? I'm here to talk turkey with you. Now well, listen, Nick, I told you last Saturday after that Olympic go, I was throwing in and it still goes. No, I don't. I'm managing you and you're gonna string along with me and avoid a lot of grief. If you're wise. Oh, uh, making threats, huh? I'm just advising you. I'm interested in your welfare, see? Yeah. You was interested in little Eddie Moran's welfare, too. Just because he wouldn't be a setup for you, somebody slugged him and pushed him off a roof. He, he fell off. All right, he fell off. Anyway, what's that got to do with me and you? A whole lot. I don't go for that muscle stuff, and I don't work for no guy that does. No? You're gonna fight for me or else. That's why you brung these sluggers, huh? It's gonna be one of them things for me, too. This meeting's private. You're gonna play ball with me or I'll bust you so you won't be able to crawl up the aisle of an arena. If you guys slug me... Give it on! All right, you guys, the game's up. Put your hands up and face the door, quick. Listen, one false move out of you birds and you'll look like a sieve. I'll cover up from here, Chief. Okay. Hey, Shorty, show these mugs out. Right, Chief. All right, get moving. Get moving. Oh, you guys have got us all wrong, buddy. Hey, K.O.? Uh, what? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, go on, kid, show them up. And if they stall, leave them have it. What are you talking about, K.O.? What these guys are think it's on the level? <laughs> That's K.O. for you. Always clowning. What are you pulling? A gag. As if we could hurt anybody. Are they kidding? Sure. They wouldn't hurt a fly. But they was just going anyway. Wasn't you, Nick? Certainly. Everything's all right, buddy. Go ahead, boys. Don't worry about it, pal. Forget it. See you again sometime, K.O. Nice fella, isn't he? Yeah, you'd be surprised. Well, where's your gang? There isn't any gang. It was only me. What? I'll show you. Oh, what the... It's just a hand microphone. Microphone? Yeah, all you do is connect it with your lead wire and talk. Yeah? Yeah, it goes right into your voice coil circuit. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see that now. So that's what you pulled, huh? Sure. And this was your whole gang? Yeah. <laughs> Say, you're all right, you know that kid? What's your name? Tommy, Tommy Jordan. <laughs> Say, you're pretty slick. And oh, you got a lot of knife, too. Shake. I'm McClure. <laughs> As if I don't know it. I haven't missed one of your fights in over a year. Seen them all, huh? You bet. Remember five weeks ago at the garden? Yeah. Remember the, towards the end of the fourth round, a guy up in the gallery yelled, Sock him, K.O. That was you. How'd you guess it? <laughs> well, uh, the radio's working. You like music, huh, kid? I sure do. I've been wanting to take up cornet lessons. Only I live with my aunt and she's nervous. Whereabouts? Bayonne. Well, I guess we all got our troubles. How long you been in the radio business? Ever since I quit school. Had a tough time of it, huh, kid? A little bit, but I'm used to it. I've been working since I was 14. Yeah? Shh. Well, that's that. If you have any more trouble, just give us a ring. Hey, wait a minute. Do you dance? Well, the ladies say I do. <laughs> well, maybe you'd like to go to this. East Side Social Club Ball. Oh, boy. <laughs> Keep them, they're on me. And I'll see you there. Oh, that'll be swell, thanks. We didn't wait for you, Kale. Yeah, where were your mugs, anyhow? Did your neighbors? Plenty. Tommy, I want you to meet the family. This is Swanky Jones, my trainer. Glad to know you. 
Yeah. And this is Jack, me target. I'll work out with him. Hi, boy. And this is the mouthpiece, Babyface. How do you do? Uh, how do you do, I'm sure. <laughs> Swanky, anytime Mr. Jordan wants to see me, leave him come up. Sure. Anytime I can do anything for you, kid, just leave me know. My friends can have anything I got, 50-50. Except in, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> and thanks, Mr. McClure. Cut out that mister stuff. I'll suck you right in the chin. And I could take it, too. Feel that. Oh, you have got a little leg there at that. Hey, you monk, see Tommy gets down safe, will you? Sure. Yeah. Come on, kid. So long, Tommy. So long, K.O. Swell kid. And, uh, uh... Intelligent. Intelligent, too, yeah, yeah, but you're alive. but not anymore. How come? There's a girl outside I don't want to meet. I get you. You brought a different win with you, huh? No, I didn't bring anybody. That's just the trouble. Hey, wait a minute. Say, I'll tell you what you do. I'm here with two dames. Come on and take one of them off my hands. Oh, I don't like to do that. It's all right. You'll like this dame, too. The best-looking queen on the floor. What do you say? Are you sure it'll be all right? Certainly. Say, what's your name? Smith. Smith? Sure. Come on. Girls, I want you to meet an old friend of mine, Mr. Smith. How do you do, Mr. Smith? I just tried to get you. No kidding. You two know each other? I'll say we do. Can I fix it for you, pal? Come on, Murdo, let's wrestle. Oh, let's not dance. My feet hurt. Oh, you're as bad as K.O. By the way, where is K.O.? Oh, he couldn't come tonight. He's in training. Aren't you glad? Tickled to death. Hello, baby face. How's K.O.? Swell. Come on, let's go someplace where everybody won't see us. You know, I've just died if you hadn't come tonight. I wish I'd have known that sooner. Huh? I say I'd have been here sooner. Oh, I was so blue and lonesome. Me and Kale had a fight tonight. Uh, over what? Oh, he said I had a date with somebody when I insisted on coming alone. Well, it's been awfully nice to see you again. Uh, sorry we can't dance. Oh, but we can. No, I'm afraid not. You see, I have to make a very important telephone call right away. Oh, well, that's all right. I'll go with you. Oh, I'm sorry, but I have to go home for the number. 
Oh, you think of this smart thing? We can get a closed cab. Never mind. I'll write him a letter. Hi, baby face. Where's Kayo? Home. How about a little dance, baby? Don't be a sucker. That's Patella's girl. Well, can you beat that? There she is. Boy, I'll bet she'll kill me. Who? That girl over there. I ask her for this dance and I keep her waiting. Am I dumb? But I thought you... Oh, were... she's a very close friend of my aunt. And I insult her? Oh, why, that would start a feud in our family. But aren't you I'll be me? right back sometime. Well, here I am, honey. Keep you waiting long? I beg your pardon. Dance with me, will you? I'm on a spot. Say. Well, let's shove off. Would you mind telling me what this is all about? I had to get away from a girl who'd have gotten me into trouble. So you picked on me? I feel flattered. Oh, you were handy. My name's Tommy. How do you do? Hello, Nick. Nick. How are you? Hello, Hello. glad to see you. Hello, Nick. Took you longer than you thought, eh? Yeah, a little. Where's Edna? Dancing. Do you know that guy? Sure. He's the guy that pulled the radio gag on me. That Kale's telling all over town. Right. And I'll bet Kale sent him up here to burn us. I could go on dancing like this forever. I don't know. You'd be bound to improve. Oh, Nick. Hey, what's the idea of letting her dance with that guy? I... She got away before I could say anything, Nick. You're her uncle, ain't you? Got her something to say about the company she picks? You understand? Oh, I'm sorry, Nick. I didn't know. Ah, uh, shut up. Take notice when you need dough, you know, buddy. Won't you tell me your name? Why? Oh, I don't know. I guess I'd like to know who you are, that's all. Ah, uh, please. <laughs> Hey, we'd better give them lots of room, honey. Get clear, pal. I'm sorry, but we'll have to stop dancing. Why? Please don't ask any questions. I just can't dance with you anymore. Aw, oh, have a heart, will you? Well, how are you, boy? Yeah. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. You know who he is? You know he is. He does. Just stay away from him. See? Oh, hello. Hi, pal. I've got some bite in the I'll take her off your hands, pal. Oh, no, you don't. I know all the tricks. Are you crazy? I would be if I didn't finish this dance with you. <laughs> all right, Slug. This guy wants the spotlight. Give it all. You understand? Sure. I think it's nothing. What's the rush, honey? Let's get out of this joint. I'm on probation. All right, sister. Put in my hat. You're leaving rather early, aren't you, Mr. Vitale? Uh, yeah. Just a quarter past nine. Why, you ain't going, are you, Nick? You see that guy dancing with Edna? He thinks he's a headliner. Give him the spotlight. Not here, Nick. We just got our license back. Do what I tell you. Before this dance stops. Now, don't forget, I checked out at a quarter past nine. I got you. Good night. 
Good night. Spike. Yeah. Watch this game. Okay. how that mob operates. Hey, driver, Sherwood Apartments, 4th Street, as fast as you can. Kale leads with the left to the chin and tears in with a terrific blow to the head. Kale has fixed Moran Groggy. It looks like Kale's fight. There it is, folks. Kale tore a left and a right to the chin and the referee is counting. Kale wins. Listen to that mob. Right. Kale's helping Don't worry. Fitz Moran to his corner. Kale, Kale's the new champ. Hey, stand by, folks. Hey, Kale. You come here and say a word to the folks. Well, now, let's... Hello, folks. This is K.O. McClure, the new middleweight champion of the world. I'd just like to say it was a terrific battle, but I don't feel that I've done my best. Any credit due, I'd like to give to me trainer Swanky Jones for getting me into this marvelous condition. <coughs> Listen to him cheer. Okay. I didn't see it come in. Oh, you brought company, huh? I hope you'll excuse the way the joint looks like. Hey, will meet Miss... Marino. Edna Marino. Yeah. How do you do? Hey, you're doing all right, kid. <clears throat> I hope you don't mind us coming here this time of night, but... Not at all. Hey, be yourself, will you? Look, turn up the radio and I'll get some more joy water. Oh, Kale, okay, oh, wait a minute. Please, I want to tell you why we came, you see. That's I... all right, kid. Look, I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, excuse me, sister. Come on, take a seat. There you are. Yeah. I tell you, we'll do. We'll send out and get a little chop suey, huh? Oh, but Mr. McClure, we didn't come here for a party. No, we're in a tough spot. We got to find some place to go, and we thought. Well, I know. Stop worrying. You're gonna stay right here. <laughs> hey, I know what you're up against. I'll never forget once I got stuck with a queen over on Coney Island. <laughs> the only baggage we had was her sister's empty pocketbook. <laughs> was we in a... Do you think they followed us here? Who's there? What do you suppose it is at this time of morning? A guy selling needles? It's baby face. Hey. Duck in the other room. We'll surprise her. And will she be tickled? Oh, but Teo, listen, I don't just not... Well, I tell her and get a load of that big southern hospitality she puts out. Mr. McClure! Um, I'm on my Go on, go on, go on. Shh, now go ahead. What did you have to do? Take off your shoes to come to the door? Listen, baby. Listen, nothing. You're drunk. Huh? Broke training, huh? Wait till I tell Swank. Oh, no, wait a minute. Don't wake him up. I got something up my sleeve for you, baby. You're going to love this. Oh, I am, huh? I smell cologne. Oh, that's the same stuff we've been drinking. There's a woman here. Oh, listen, babe. Guess what happened? Some, uh, wren blew in the feather her nest, I suppose. No, Tommy's here. Tommy Jordan. The radio kid. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Since when has Tommy been carrying a powder puff? That's his girlfriends. They don't know where to go, and are they embarrassed? I'll bet they are. Say, listen, you get him out of here and get him out of here quick. Get him out? Hey, what's eating you? You heard what I said. Nick Vitelli's after me, and Ned Whit. What? I mean it. Over at the dance, he knocked down Sug McGee and beat it with Nick's new girl. Holy. You tell me that and you want me to put him out? After what Tommy's done for me? Huh. Not a chance. All right. Wise guy. Four weeks from tonight, you fight for the middleweight crown. Every cent we got in the world's up for guarantee. Well? Well, who's gonna be the heavy loser if something happens to that thick skull of yours beforehand? Oh, now listen, baby. Comb that out of your whiskers. Ladies and gentlemen, for the last few minutes, you have been listening to the dumbest dame in the world. Oh, hello, Ken. Oh, can you imagine I could... I thought I was... Well, some... why don't you turn it off? Oh, uh huh? Turn it off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, turn it. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Earl, I gotta get up. Yeah, me too. <sighs> we were doing must have been the part of a game lending a spice uh, to the wing uh, ah, but I don't care who's to blame when stars appear and the shadows Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Boy, I'll bust. You only like them, don't you? Yeah, when you make them. Baloney. That's a fact. You know, my aunt always makes them in lard. You sure your aunt's gonna like the idea of me taking a room with her? Oh, she'll be tickled pink. You just stay here for the day, and tonight I'll be back and take you over to Bayonne. Nobody will ever find you in Bayonne. You've been awfully sweet to me. I guess you're the only friend I've got. Yeah. 
You know, you just got mixed up with the wrong crowd. There's a lot of us up right now, fellas, around. Lord? Oh, no thanks. <laughs> The taste says yes, but the belt says no. Uh-oh. Will you be late? No, not very. Well, bye. I'm going to the door with you. Oh, gee, that'll be swell. You're not going to worry now, are you? I'll try not to. Well? Yes? I... This is kind of like being married, isn't it? I don't know. I, I've never been married. Well, what about me? <laughs> You're going to be late. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll be home early. Goodbye. Good morning. Well, what are you doing, babe? What does it look like? I'm getting out of this joint as fast as I can. Well, what's the matter? Sore? Hey, ain't you gonna take me picture with you? Well, there ain't room for cigarettes in your picture, and I can't give up smoking. Well, what are you leaving for, anyway? Because! That's why. If you want to play nurse grade and do a couple of little brats, you can do it. Alone. Well, Tommy's my friend. I'm, uh, I'm, uh... Obligated. Yeah, obligated. Yeah, but you ain't obligated to that little tramp you brought with him, are you? You talk about shielding him. Just help him keep that girl with him, and you're inviting Vitelli to push him under a subway train. something, baby face. If you leave this house now, our engagement is off. She's gone. You would raise your voice with this door open! Oh, baby. My foot. Oh, it's, uh, it's, uh... Mom! Yeah. Like your head! Yeah, is that so? I owe you. Twenty dollars. Thanks. And it'll take you four weeks to pay this one off, Casanova. Yeah, but then I'll ask the boss for a raise. Claus. Hello, Tommy. Got a load, huh? Hey, Edna. She ain't here, kid. You wouldn't kid a guy, would you? Well, K, old boy, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going out and take in a show. So long. Come on out, Edna. I know you're hiding. You know I wouldn't go. Edna. I ain't kidding, Tommy. She ducked this morning. You mean it? Look around and see. I'm telling you, she beat it. On the level, Kale? I wouldn't fool you, kid. She left this morning. Never left no note nor nothing. But it was all said that I was 
going to take her over to my aunt's in Bayonne. <laughs> Gee, she beat it. Something scared her. I'm sorry, kid. Are you sure she didn't leave a phone number or something? Not a thing. Oh, something's wrong. I'm not going to let her go. I'll find her some way. No, you don't. You're going to be smart and keep out of trouble, see? But, Kale, uh, you heard what I said. Listen, this guy Vitelli is bad news. Now, you just mind your own business and forget her. Why, gee, kid, you'll meet a lot of other gals. Why, the right one comes along. It's worth it when you get a gal like mine. with him. What's wrong with who? Tommy! This is the third week in succession he hasn't drawn anything against his salary. There's been a big change in him lately. He's got something on his mind. Huh. I wish I knew her name. Well, how do you do, sir? How do you do? Have you got an employee here named Thomas Jordan? Why, yes, he's back there in the shop. Oh. I want to see him. Why, what's the matter? Has there been any trouble? Never mind. I know, but say, he's a mighty fine boy now. If there's anything that I can do... I'll take care of this. He's been so quiet lately. Do you suppose he's killed somebody? Jordan? Oh. I'm from the Reliance Detective Agency. Yeah? We've got the information for you. Oh, go on. There's a Miss Edna Marino employed at the Savoy Flower Shop that answers your... Oh, boy, that's great! Well... Oh. Say, honey, how about going to dinner someplace? We can talk and be by ourselves. Just as you say, Nick, I... Well, I thought you'd like the idea. You stick here for a minute and I'll get the car and be right back. Hello, Tommy. I've been trying to locate you for over three weeks. I'm sorry, I can't talk to you now. I'm, I'm in a hurry. That's all right. I'll take you to wherever you're going and we can talk on the way. Not now, please. Will you excuse me? I, I've got to go inside. All right, I'll wait. Good night, Miss Marino. Good night. Ah, oh, come on. I've just got to talk to you. All right. But let's hurry. Well... Thirty-six fifty. Now two dollars a week. Two goes into three once and one over. Two into sixteen goes eight. Eighteen weeks. Huh. How do you like it, Ethel? I think it's awful. Oh, it's a bargain. Look, guaranteed genuine veneer. Well, what are you looking at that stuff for? Listen. Don't tell Mr. Jackson, but I think maybe I'm going to get married. On what? My salary. <laughs> Look, I got it all figured out. Uh, of course, there's going to be some problems, and it's going to be tough at first. But we're young. Who's the lucky girl? Wait till you see her. Sweet, and of all a million guys in this city... She had to fall for you. I see your friend's gonna fight tomorrow night, isn't he? Kale? Yeah. Let me take a look at that. McClure favorite and title go tomorrow night. Hmm. Kale McClure contender for the middleweight championship seems a surefire victor for the crown tomorrow night. And they're right. Fighting for the first time without the support of his former manager, Nick Fatelli, who incidentally is quietly marrying Miss Edna. Oh, but this isn't so. Something's wrong. Sure, you never can believe what you read in the papers. Well, 
she can't marry him. She said she wouldn't. And, oh, she hates him. She's probably just doing him a favor. I know. If she's marrying him, she's doing it for me. To protect me. Circle. Three, eight, seven, five, six, yeah. Uh, Savoy Flower Shop? I want to speak to Miss Edna Marino. Quit yesterday? Oh, well, well, listen, can you tell me where she can be reached? Enough for today. Come on in, kid! Oh, boy. What do you say, boy? Oh, what's the matter with you? Your face looks like it just come back from a laundry. Quit ribbing me. I'm sitting on top of the world. Yeah? Where are you sitting tomorrow night? Gallery? Yeah, I got a swell seat. Yeah, well, turn it in. You're gonna sit at the ringside, see? Oh, quit kidding me. I wouldn't know how to sit in a ringside seat. All right, kidding you. Swanky's got one for you, Mr. Swanky. Sure. And if I don't see you, then I'll punch you right in the chin. Oh, you're a pal, Kale. Come on, put him up. Put him up. Come on. Come on, kid. Get him up. What's the matter with you? Come on. Let's be speed there, boy. Come on. Get him up. Get him up, boy. Up. Isn't that hot about Edna? Oh, yeah. Upset any dope? No, no, not with me. He's welcome to her. I'll bet she'll think I'm sore. Why? I'm not sending her a wedding gift. Not even flowers. Oh, aren't you? No, I suppose I ought to send her a telegram. Oh, why don't you? How can I? I don't even know where they're getting married. Oh, well, uh... If you can keep it under your hat, you see, Nick's got a lot of enemies. So, uh, they're getting married on a QT out on a Pike Road. Where? Sarno's. Then I'll hop right over and send her a telegram. Oh, no, you don't. You're sticking right here tonight. Oh, babe, Tommy's going to stay for supper. Well, say, did you tell him? Oh, gosh, I forgot. Tommy, meet Mrs. K.O. McClure. No kidding? Yeah, yesterday. We tried to find you. And after the flight tomorrow night, we're going away on a long trip. You bet. After tomorrow, it's the green fields and plenty of sunshine for us, huh, babe? Don't you wish it was us? Yeah. I sure do. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll hop down and park my car in the garage across the street. All right, kid, but scram right back. Oh, boy, I'm going to take off these shoes. Not in the living room. Excuse me, Mrs. McClure. I'll bet he went to Sarno's. You were dumb to tell him. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, you go on and eat, baby. you put in your pocket? No, everything's gonna be all right. Where are you going? I'll be back in no time. Kale! Kale! 
Now, don't get all worked up. Nothing's gonna happen. You can't take any chances after everything we've planned and everything we're gonna do. That kid's walking into a slug. Be yourself. You can't go. If you do, I'll quit you. You don't mean that, baby. I do, too. If you go, I'm through with you this time forever. Oh, honey. Oh, now look at your makeup. Listen, buddy, wait right here in front for me. Do you understand? I got you. Some wise guy tried to crash. Remember, this is my party and nobody gets in without an invitation. Ah, Signor Batelli, you look first class tonight. I must present my congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, How about the flowers? I'll phone me. Hello, honey. Hello, Nick. Hello. Hello, Mary. Say, listen, I told that florist to put those flowers in the bucket of ice water in the hall. You better go out there and see if they're okay. Oh, just a minute. Who is it? It's Slug. He wants me to see if the flowers are okay. Poor Nate. Will you please put these in water? Tell me what business have you got coming here? Well, I just thought I... Get out of this room right away. Not until we've had a little talk. Oh, Tommy. Don't you realize what they'll do to you if they find you here? I can't help it. I'm not going to let you go through with this. Please. Go before Nick sees you. Uh, hey, Nick. Uh, get a load of this. But you don't love him, Edna. You told me you didn't. I do, too, love him. Look at me. Now say that again. I... I... Oh, Tommy. You do care, don't you? You know I do. Hello, 
know, Sugar. I thought maybe he was nervous and wanted somebody to talk to. Well, I'm not a bit nervous. <laughs> Nothing's upset you? Not a thing. You, you go on downstairs. I'll, I'll be ready in a minute. Sure. Careless. <laughs> Come on out. Oh, Nick, please. I know, we got in the wrong room by mistake. No, I didn't. I came here on purpose. I'm taking that out of here. Oh, yeah? What makes you think you're going out? for trouble. Why? Oh, no, you don't. Wait on the side, close to the house. Right. Wait a minute, Chuck. An invitation? Sure. Right here. Yeah. Guess Nick would feel hurt if you hadn't showed up. That's what I figured. We're gonna find Nick. Upstairs, Kale. I'll tell him. Stick right here. Sure. Nick! Kale's downstairs and he's carrying a gap. Tell him to come up. You watch the back. You scram in that closet, maybe turn his back to it, let him have it. Right. One peep out of you while he's in this room, and I'll put a slug into you. Hello, Nick. Am I breaking up something? You got a nerve coming around, Kale. Keep in front of me, Nick. What are you doing with a kid up here anyway? Kale, there's a... Quiet, kid. I'll do the talking here. If you're looking for trouble, Kale, you're not gonna get it. This is my wedding night. Nobody's and... looking for trouble. Please, Nick. Well, don't be scared, sister. I just want to figure this thing out. How do you stand? Well, I... Uh... Oh, you couldn't marry this mug. I can see that now. Kale, behind... <laughs> Get out of here. Come on, Ned. Get out of here. Don't let him get away with it. What's the matter? It's locked. It's locked. Of course it's locked. Quick, in here. And when Nick comes out after us, hop in the other room and climb down the trellis. We'll meet you in the back as soon as we can. Bring it down. Hello, Mike. Mike, listen. Don't let anybody out of this joint. Watch the front and back doors. You understand? Hey, bouncers. Watch the back door and don't let anybody get out. Okay. Come on, huh? Oh, this is my fault. Your fault. I thought I knew that little guy.
Sleep or something. Hey! Get out! I got a cab in front. Slug, give me that gun. Hey, oh, you'll ruin your feet for tomorrow night. Never mind the feet. Take care of that, and I'm going back for your shoes. But kids, your kids. Are... Oh, come on. Why did I let you come back? I guess I... I don't sit in that ringside seat after all. Oh, you got it, kid. I need you, Tommy. Now we will rehearse the bridesmaids. I came in church. Well, this rehearsing gets me down. Well, it was your own idea making a big splash for the kids. A quickie was good enough for me. Just goes to prove the old thing. Familiarity breeds... Familiarity breeds... Through its nose. Yeah, through its nose. And I hope you never find out no different. Come on, come on, dear. 